Morning peeps. I got a reading and it's for midweek boost. Um, this is out of the nature book. I don't know the author. The verse for today is Psalms 145, 5. On the glorious splendor of your majesty and on your wonderful works, I will meditate. I pulled my chair over to the large picture window. My hotel room had a view of the Blue Ridge Mountains and I didn't want to miss the beauty. Dusk settled in, bringing an evening storm. Clouds moved over the mountaintops and streaks of lightning flashed. As I watched the spectacular light show, I marveled at the power of God. The next morning, I noticed a tiny moth stuck to the outside of my window. I had a close-up view of its spotted wings, tiny mouth, and polished eyes. A gust of wind suddenly blew and the moth held onto the glass with all its might. As I studied it a moment longer, I thought about the intricate workings of God's creation. God is powerful, as I witnessed in the storm the night before, but he used the tiny moth to remind me he is also personal. He set the stars in space, and yet he knows me by my name. He marked off the heavens with the breadth of his hand, yet he wove me together in my mother's womb. When storms rage and winds blow, God surrounds each of us with his awesome strength and tender care. He knows us, he loves us, and whether through lightning on mountaintops or a tiny moth on the breezy morning, he displays his splendor. I thought that was very good. We need that power and I'm so grateful that we have it and it's just, it's just amazing. Um, we have a lot of moths around here and to watch them is amazing. It's amazing to watch them do their cocoons and to emerge from the cocoons and all of those. It's just so amazing. And to think that he knows me in the middle of all of this splendor is even more amazing. That's it, peeps. I hope this gives you a bit of a boost. I hope it finds you absolutely amazing. Stay blessed. Until next time. Hey, you made it to the end. Please hit like and subscribe and thanks for watching.